What's up, YouTube Fragrance family? Tommy with Studio Sense here. Welcome to another video. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at a brand new release. If you're a fan of the wonderfully lush and dark, lusty trio of frankincense, sandalwood, and vanilla, then you probably already heard or already own Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Him. It's a wonderfully dark, rich, dry, elegant fragrance for cooler weather and an all-around great signature scent. For those of you that watch my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of this fragrance. So last year, 2021, when a brand new flanker was announced called This Is Him Vibes of Freedom, I was a little bit trepidatious, but also super excited because I'm anxious to see what this new flanker is all about. Finally, it has arrived today, so I've got This Is Him Vibes of Freedom. When we come back, we're gonna take a closer look at this brand new release. That and more is coming your way, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Really happy that you're here because I've got a brand new release to take a look at. Before we talk about This Is Him Vibes of Freedom, it is a flanker of this fragrance, This Is Him by Zadig and Voltaire. A wonderfully vanillic, sandalwood, and frankincense oriented fragrance for cold weather. Then a version was released for summer called This Is Love, albeit a little bit of a cheesy name, but this is an epic fragrance. As you can probably see i don't know if you can it doesn't like having two things in the frame at once but anyway i've used a lot of this one of my favorite fragrances and then they released the unisex version called this is us anyway we're not here to talk about any of that we're here to talk about the brand new flanker vibes of freedom this is him vibes of freedom is the full name of this but before we talk about the fragrance, let's take a closer look at that presentation. On the front of the box are these embossed words, laugh, breathe, live, enjoy the moment, free as a bird, feel the sun, scent for him, stay cool, wild vibes, keep the dream alive. The sides of the box have no information. The very back of the box has what's embossed on the front of the box in French, I believe. Then it's got the ingredients, the address information, the web address. The very bottom of the box has some additional information, your UPC, your stickers, and your batch code. The very top of the box, the Z and V logo. The sticker on the front of the bottle, the Deegan Voltaire. It's got the juice information. The bottle itself is all glass, completely transparent. Huge fan of this bottle. It looks like a piece of rock that's been broken in half. And it's designed for any two of these bottles to come together, fit at the seams. Top of the lid has Z and V. The lid is black. On the very bottom of the bottle is actually printed the batch code and some additional information. really nice presentation very simplistic kind of elegant that's pretty much it for the presentation once again i'm a huge fan of this bottle i really do like it i think i like the simplicity the elegant nod towards something a bit different and creative with this particular side being broken this one is the lightest bottle of them all there's no color involved in this except kind of a light blue when i first saw the formula for this fragrance i was a bit concerned it looks a bit light there's not a lot of notes or at least there's not a lot of published notes so there's two in the top two in the heart two in the base so let's go ahead and talk about the notes and the note breakdown, what fragrant notes make up this formula. Zadig and Voltaire, This Is Him, Vibes of Freedom features top notes of French lavender and Italian Mandarin orange with heart notes of Guatemala cardamom and Somalian frankincense resting on a base of American cedar and Indonesian patchouli. So a lot of fragrance houses like to say, hey, look, this is where we got our notes from. This is Somalian, this is Indonesian. You can actually leave off the geographic location of any particular fragrance note and, and you're still, you're okay. Bergamot's Bergamot. Now there are some variations and difference in terms of, you know, where something is grown. It might be a little bit richer, denser, a little bit sweeter, a little bit more sour. Details matter when it comes to fragrance formulas, but in this case, it's likely not gonna be a huge difference. So basically you've got lavender and Mandarin orange in the open. The heart is cardamom and frankincense. Now the difference, usually frankincense is in the base of this fragrance. That concerned me just a little. So in the base of this, you've got cedar and patchouli. So there's no true fixative in the base. Something is gonna be a little bit denser, resinous, slightly sticky, 
sometimes sweet, sometimes not, usually warm, and it brings everything kind of together, kind of uh, the choreographer for the dance of the fragrance notes in essence. So that still does kind of concern me about the fragrance, but it sounds like it's gonna be a really light, fresh, freshy, a nice spring and summer fresh fragrance. Let's check out that juice. The atomizer on these are always good quality. Get it closer. Sprays pretty far with about, uh, about three or four inches in diameter or circumference. I sprayed it on the tester strip, but I think I sprayed just as much on my hand. Okay, so one thing straight up front, my concern about this being a light fragrance seems to have been valid because it is extremely light. Sometimes you don't wanna wear something that's gonna be penetrating or that jumps right in the face of the other person or that creates a six foot bubble around you. Sometimes you want your sillage to be very gentle. And so you can definitely get the lavender and orange in the open there. It's very light, very fresh. Cardamom, of course, adds a little bit of nuttiness along with a little bit of uh, a light sweetness. Frankincense is the darker dry territory. Actually, the sandalwood, vanilla, and frankincense combination is, is my favorite trio. It doesn't exist in this fragrance though. So we're only getting one of those. <laughs> we're only getting, it's omitting sandalwood and vanilla. We're only getting frankincense. So that was my concern. And it seems to have been valid because it is not super, it doesn't have a presence or personality. I wouldn't even call it bold. I would call it extremely shy, light potentially a skin scent. When I first smelled this, as I was spraying it on the tester strip, I thought, wow, that smells kind of feminine. Um, it, it smells very light and very almost, um, even though there's no floral notes, there's a lightly feminine quality to its freshness. Okay, so I feel like it's been dry long enough on my hand to give you guys a fair assessment of the pros and cons of This Is Him Vibes of Freedom. My original concern that This Is Him Vibes of Freedom was gonna be a really light fragrance seemed to have been valid because it is extremely light. Now it is fresh, I will say that. It's fresh, it's refreshing, but there isn't anything in particular in the formula. The lack of a, a darker or richer element of a fixative in the base of the fragrance, I think is what's wrong with this, if I can say what's wrong with it. Maybe that was their intention though, is to release something that is extremely light. But I can't imagine that the intention of any fragrance house is to release a skin scent, unless it's for a specific purpose. I do know that flavor houses are responsible for creating the modifications of your fragrance. If you don't get it right in the first maybe several tries, you don't get unlimited tries. So usually if you don't get it right in the first few modifications, you've probably lost the element of what you're trying to create in that fragrance. I feel like that may be the case with Vibes of Freedom because to me it just feels like an unfinished product. It feels like that there's still a base that needs to be embedded in the fragrance DNA because to me that's what's lacking. It is a wholly casual fragrance. It doesn't smell like a shower gel kind of fragrance. It's not typical in that regard, but the problem is it doesn't take a particular fragrance stand. So the trio that I mentioned at the beginning that you really come to love in the This Is Him DNA, which is the frankincense, vanilla, and sandalwood, you're only getting frankincense in this. There's too much of a feminine vibe. Originally when I reviewed the This Is Us, the unisex version, version of the This Is Him DNA. That was the warning that I gave, kind of a cautionary warning that it's got more of a feminine vibe to it. Unfortunately, that's kind of my concern about this. When I first sprayed it in the air, it was very fresh, but also lightly feminine. Now there are no floral notes in this. It's just a combination of the notes in the fragrance that's creating that lightly feminine vibe. Honestly, I hope it's just me and I hope that when you try this, you really like it, but I just wanna give you that warning so that you don't go out there and, and purchase a full bottle based on my video and you're like, why did he say that? Because I don't like this fragrance. I, for one, am disappointed in it. I was expecting a lot more out of a This Is Him flanker. My expectations were fully met and slightly exceeded with the summer and spring version of the This Is Him DNA and This Is Love. This one, unfortunately, I can't say that about it. If you're looking for something, I can't imagine that anyone would be looking for something that they need to spray 20 sprays of that they want it to be a skin scent after about 20, 30 minutes, but that's really where this is headed. There's no penetration to this that takes a specific 
masculine stand. It's a little bit light and it's a little bit canted on the side of the feminine. It's something I definitely wouldn't purchase at full retail. If you're going to purchase it at all, wait until it hits discounters. Well, I wish this could have been a lot better of a review than it was. I have to let you guys know in advance though about the pros and the cons of the fragrance so that you can make up your own mind. Maybe it's something that you'll enjoy, but for those of you that are really digging that trio, that DNA, that's this is him that you've come to know and love, you're not going to find it in this is him vibes of freedom unfortunately if you have had a chance to try out vibes of freedom though let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below thanks so much though for stopping by and checking out today's video and as always thank you so much for your support on my channel i'm tommy with studio sense and i'll see you tomorrow